And here it is, the video you've all been waiting for. The big reveal of our finished house renovation in Madeira. If you are new here, we are Ray and Andrew Bright. And in 2021, we discovered this beautiful island and decided to follow our dream of retiring early, selling everything we own in the UK and buying a property here in Madeira to renovate. This video is part 12 of our property renovation, where we have shared the highs and lows of our renovation journey. And in today's video, you can join us in a tour of the final transformation of our abandoned house, becoming our dream home by the ocean. Do stay with us until the end. We hope our story might inspire you to follow your own dreams. Come in, come in. So exciting. It's our new home. Our new ruin. It's our <laughs> new pile of rocks. Soon to be our new home. And here we are, 15 months later, living in the house. I didn't think we were going to do it. It just didn't seem like it would ever happen. So stay with us, watch the rest of the video. We hope you enjoy it. Diablo. Just imagine what it's going to look like. Can't wait. It's just freaking it's daunted like... by it. I think it'll look amazing, but it's like, wow, it's just everywhere I look, something, something to do. Yeah. Everywhere I look. It was hard to imagine mm. what it was going to look like. I love seeing the transformation. That's the first time we got the keys. My favourite spot. On the hammocks. On the hammocks. This is the first time I've been to see the house. It looks like it's snowing in this video. It wasn't snowing, it was wet. Never snows. It's everything we talked about.
Now we're in the summer, those solar panels are paying their way. Oh, this is the first time you saw the house. Yeah. There must have been something there because it looked awful. I think part of it was the location. Mm. Part of it was the stone that they'd used to build the house. And it had the world's biggest bougainvillea. It went up to the roof and oh, it was like 10 feet across. We have replanted it. Yeah, we have. We have. So the house had been abandoned for five years. No windows, no doors, nothing. Five years. We did have a bit of a dispute about the fireplace. Initially, I wanted to keep it and rebuild it. And I always wanted it to be gone and have a wood burner or a salamandra. Our oh, feature light fitting. Did that come from Spain? Yep, wooden all the way from Spain in a massive crate. Oh, it was a massive crate. It wasn't was a it? massive crate. I could have fitted in the crate. You could have done. This was a very industrial staircase. Yes. Very industrial. And I know the windows were boarded up, but because the wood was so dark, I always felt it would make the house seem quite... What's the word I'm looking for? Dark? <laughs> it is dark. <laughs> first day we took some of the boards off the windows yeah. and the light flooded in. I, just... I think we had to have fallen in love with where this was because the building itself was so sad. It, need, it, had, it is in desperate need of love. It was, but we had lots of love to give it. I'm watching this now, really appreciating 
what we've been through to get where we are today. It's like giving birth, you forget about all the pain. How do you know that? So I'm told. <laughs> it's true. The kitchen was something we really had no idea what it was going to turn out like. We told them what we wanted, but we were never told whether we were really getting what we wanted. And I love our kitchen. Yeah. Our initial quote for the kitchen was huge, and we cut it in, we, it cost us a third of what our initial quote was. That's if we were buying it from a kitchen shop, and we had it made. And that saved us a lot of money. Yeah. Helped us keep within our budget. Solar panels, mm. and then why it goes by in the tube outside. Even that was our real estate agent, Nuno. I'm so glad we kept the ceiling. Yes, with all its different shapes. It's a bit of a cathedral, but it's a definite feature. was without windows for so long. I think it was the end of October that they actually started to install the windows. But I didn't want it to have windows. I loved it without windows. I loved the openness. If you think about it, the one shocker of it all was it had no windows and no doors, but it was very dry inside. Whether we're used to the UK and it would have been wet inside, it was actually very dry, apart from the annex, which was growing things in the floorboards. Yes, that's, that's true, it was. Leo is contributing to our voiceover here. Right on cue. For those of you who don't know, Leo is our cat and we brought him from England to join us here. He's making a guest appearance shortly. He'll be in the credits. He is the star of the show. Oh, he is. And if anyone's interested, I can do a video about how to bring your cat on a plane from England to Madeira. Originally, we really liked that stonework, that traditional Madeiran flooring. You'll see that in Funchal a lot. We did, we wanted to keep it. Mm. Trouble is, it leaks like a sieve if you have a room underneath. So oh. we had to have it removed. Yeah. Our builder insisted on removing it. There it is gone. And then they made our slabs to replace it. Still can't get over, they made these slabs by hand, every single one. It was a big job, wasn't it? A pipe is for a light, which is yet to be fitted. And yeah, water feature there. Mm -hmm. 
we always knew we wanted glass, glass balcony, glass on the stairs. But I don't think until it was fitted, I realised just how amazing it was. He's fitted right in, isn't he? He loves it here. He loves the sunshine, he loves the warmth. He loves the lifestyle. Mm. That took a lot of choosing, that palm tree. It's a Ch Chinese fan palm, Chinese fan palm. Yep. Along with those wall lights took a lot of choosing. We had to have stone wall lights, otherwise the sea would have corroded them. And then we wanted them to match the wall so they weren't a feature. Somebody who was wise planting a palm tree right in front of the window. Up and look at a lot worse, couldn't you? You could have a shower with a lot worse view as well. We have to make that window bigger. There's a small window on the right there, you can see. That's actually not that window. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> this is my walk-in wardrobe. That's the window on the left there. Yeah, this we had bricked in. I wasn't sure about that, but this worked out well. This is the day we took the board off the window. For the first time? For the first time. And we had the window completely knocked out, the patio doors put in. Oh dear, broken staircase. Rotten as a rotten thing can be. 
That didn't take a lot of knocking down. It was very rotten. Mm. This spot is the warmest, sunniest spot. In Madeira. <laughs> I was going to say, in our house. <laughs> but actually, probably in Madeira. One of the hottest spots. Hence Leo's in the shade. was manky. Algae growing up the walls, plants growing the floorboards, roof caving in, termites eating the beams, sword dust all over the floor. I didn't want this building originally. I just wanted the house. Glad we did. Is an indulgence having a home gym. Yes, our playroom. We are very lucky. We did have a home gym in England, but it was half the size. Not even. It didn't have that view either. of sorts and we turned it into our bathroom well our shower room this is the best shower in the house i loved living in the annex i think it's the second video where we show them redoing the annex we had to live in it they had to do that first we needed to live in it when we came back from our three months away didn't we Another fireplace I wanted to keep, originally, until I was realigned. Do you think we made the right decision, oh, Andrew? Yes, absolutely. We were going to have a wood burner put in, but it actually gets so warm in this building. I think with that complete glass wall, this room gets so hot, you don't need any heating in it, ever. But we have kept the chimney just in case we yeah, ever we had decide. a chimney replaced, and, but no fire. said this before but if we hadn't had our weight training equipment to bring we wouldn't have brought anything yeah I think you're right so actually I'm glad we did bring them because there's a couple of things we have brought like our sculptures which would have been a real shame yeah I can't imagine taking this on and doing all the work myself no. I don't think I would have lived long enough. But the question is, would we do it again? I think maybe that's a question for another video. Yeah.
If you like the video, please hit the like button, do subscribe, turn on notifications. And don't forget to hit the dingling. Hit the dingling. See you next time. I think